If you like Salma Hayek, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. What about Mexico? Can't take the water. How about Paris? Can't take the French. Promise me paradise. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Fools Rush In, 1997. There's an explanation beyond reason, beyond all logic that brought you right to this very spot. Fools Rush In is a 1997 romantic comedy film directed by Andy Tennant and stars Matthew Perry and Salma Hayek. The title-giving premise makes this flick a hilarious hit. Three months after a one-night stand in Las Vegas, successful New York businessman finds out that the woman is pregnant. Now feeling instantly drawn to her, he soon gets caught up between his new life in Vegas and his career in New York. I have no problem raising this child on my own. I thought we were a family. You don't understand the concept of a family. To you, it's something you put up with on national holidays. Love, it's a gift, Alex. Not an obligation. <laughs> Number 9. After the Sunset, 2004. Turn your back on temptation. Or substitute something more tempting. After the Sunset is a 2004 action comedy film directed by Brett Ratner and stars Pierce Brosnan, Salma Hayek, Woody Harrelson, Don Cheadle, and Naomi Harris. In this hilariously ironic robbery love story, we follow a charming yet arrogant thief who has already stolen two out of three diamonds in a very expensive jewel set. Now retiring on a tropical island with his love affair, everything seems peaceful. But when discovering the third diamond on a ship on his own island, trouble is on the horizon. Look, on this deck, we are going to sit here and watch sunsets until we get old. Can't wait. Where are you going? You said I need a hobby. I guess I'll go find one. Really? Number 8. Lonely Hearts, 2006. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Yes! Then do it. Lonely Hearts is a 2006 thriller film written and directed by Todd Robinson and stars John Travolta, James Gandolfini, Jared Leto, and Salma Hayek. This gangster epic explores depression and anger in a world of violence and killing. When Detective Elmer Robinson angers over the suicide of his wife, he pursues two notorious murderers in 1940s New York. The two psychopaths known as the Lonely Heart Killers prey on spinsters and war widows, leaving behind trails of blood. What's wrong with her? If you don't love me, then I don't want to live. Do it. Prove that you don't love me. Hmm? Oh, come on, baby. You went out. <laughs> Number 7. Here comes the boom, 2012. I can't even move past that. You dislocated your shoulder. You have to go to the hospital. Last time I went to the hospital, it actually cost me more than I made in the fight. Here Comes the Boom is a 2012 comedy film directed by Frank Karasi and stars Kevin James, Salma Hayek, and Henry Winkler. As one of Kevin James's greatest hits, this is the story of a once collegiate wrestler who is now a 42-year-old biology teacher in a failing high school. But when his long-lost wrestling skills may earn some money for a program that could save the school, he is in for one more fight. That's past the level that I just said I can't go, though, okay? I'm sorry. Don't worry, you're gonna be alright. You're gonna be okay. Okay. I just gotta get in here. Easy, okay? Let's get in there. Alright. That hurts. You ready? Yeah. I always wanted to try this. Try this? What do you mean, try? You never done this? Number six. Once Upon a Time in Mexico, 2003. Once Upon a Time in Mexico is a 2003 contemporary Western action film, written and directed by Robert Rodriguez, and stars Antonio Banderas, Salma Hayek, Johnny Depp, Eva Mendez, and Danny Trejo. In this finish of the classic Mexico trilogy comes one last hell ride following action icon El Mariachi. Making his way across a rugged landscape on the blood trail of a massive cartel kingpin, he soon encounters a variety of helpful, or maybe destructive, figures, including a corrupt FBI agent. 
This is the beginning of one last bloody fight. Puta madre! Number 5. Savages 2012. Is everything all right? Yes, Madrina. Why you ask? Based on Don Winslow's novel of the same name, this crime thriller follows the story of two entrepreneurs, Ben and Chan, who together run a lucrative marijuana business and also shares a one-of-a-kind love with Ophelia. Life is idyllic in their Southern California home until the Mexican Baja cartel decides to move in and demands that the trio partners with them. Oliver Stone's best-selling film adaptation released in 2012 stars Blake Lively, Salma Hayek, Taylor Kitsch, and Aaron Taylor Johnson in lead roles. You're gonna find me esta chingada rata de mierda that gave up our stash house, or else I'm gonna have to go after your wives and your children. Number 4. Dogma 1999. We gotta get moving. How can we get to Jersey? We'll take the train. I'll call for reservations. Dogma is a fantasy comedy film written and directed by Kevin Smith and stars him alongside Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Linda Fiorentino, Chris Rock, Salma Hayek, Alan Rickman, and Jason Mewes. Finding cult director Kevin Smith in a brilliant religious satire, Dogma follows two angels who are banned from heaven and thrown into the middle of nowhere. But when finding out that there is a portal right back into their beloved home, which would eventually kill every human on Earth, a group is formed to stop the two. If they come out, nobody touches them. Are you fucking shitting me? The brother here is gonna shred him with his angel be good special, ain't you, homie? If they pass through that arch, they come out clean. And if they die, they go straight up. And hello? We know what happens then, right? Number 3. From Dusk Till Dawn, 1996. That's what I call a fucking show! From Dusk Till Dawn is a 1996 action horror film directed by Robert Rodriguez and stars George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino, Harvey Keitel, Juliette Lewis, and Salma Hayek. This extravagant action horror thrill ride is not only the birth of one of Hollywood's greatest actors, but the rise of the friendship between cult director Tarantino and Rodriguez. When two bank robbers held a family on vacation captive, the unlikely group must soon protect themselves against something unusual in this culturally acclaimed B-movie adventure. You'll be my footstool. <laughs> and at my command, you lick the dog shit from my boot heel. <laughs> Since you'll be my dog, your new name will be... Spot. Number 2. Desperado, 1995. Desperado is a 1995 Western action film written and directed by Robert Rodriguez and stars Antonio Banderas, Joaquin de Almeida, Salma Hayek, Steve Buscemi, Cheech Marin, and Quentin Tarantino. As one of director Rodriguez's cult classic comes a massive blockbuster starring a jarring cast. When protagonist Mariachi plunged deep into the criminal underworld following a trail of blood, he declares war with Mexican drug lords and other parties alike. But with the help of a beautiful woman, he will leave a trail of blood on his own. No, I, I can't play anymore. Why? Well, I look at my hand and I can't. Okay, we can improvise. I'll help you. Yeah. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Do you know how to skip rocks, Mrs. Spader? Are you kidding me? I am the best at this. Give me that. Now watch it. Santa! No! Stop! No! Stop! No! Excuses for a minute. What? You've never seen one before? Yes, but in the dark. Up! Here! If I'm not mistaken, you're in trouble. Allow me. I'm Rita, and I was hired here as an entertainer. Not that I'm complaining, but what are you doing here? I'm looking for some missing scientists. Not that I'm complaining. Number one. Frida, 2002. If you think I'm going to sleep with you just because you've taken me under your wing, you're wrong. Me? 
Frida is a 2002 biographical drama film directed by Julie Taymor and stars Salma Hayek, Alfred Molina, Jeffrey Rush, and Valeria Galino. This memorable, true-life story of a greater-than-life artist follows Frida Kahlo and her husband Diego Rivera, who become one of the most acclaimed artists in Mexican history. These true, beloved painters became legends with their tempestuous love affair, their journey through America, and their extravagant personalities. Frida offers an insight into these lives as a one-of-a-kind biopic. We will solemnly swear, right here, right now, that we will be friends only. Fine. Comrades, colleagues, and friends forever. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.